See these lows dropping off very cold up here, especially across parts of northern Worcester County along Route 2. Clear this evening, mostly cloudy tonight, 26 to 34 degrees. Then tomorrow, some morning showers. But for some of you, it may start as a little bit of ice. By afternoon, we're talking about downpours, some fog, 48 to 54 degrees. That's why I say it's going to be relatively mild, but really unsettled weather. There are the clear skies. That's why the temperatures are dropping like a rock right now. But as you travel off to the west, we've got a whole lot of water that's coming in. But the mild air is surging up out ahead of it. But initially, when it comes in, that cold air at the surface, and we throw a little rain on top of it, you know what happens. You get freezing rain. And that is the most dangerous thing out there. You can't see it. You think the roadway is wet, and it's actually just an ice skating rink. Not everyone's going to see it, but if you're traveling in this area tomorrow from 4 a.m. to 10 a.m., you want to be cautious about that. There could be a slippery spot here or there. And to the north, if you're traveling that direction, we have a winter weather advisory out for the same time. This one's going to be a little more wintry in nature. There'll be some snow, some sleet with it. You can see it a little bit better. It's the areas to the south where you can't see it, that it may be the slipperiest and the most dangerous tomorrow morning. So here's a timeline on this. 3 a.m. tonight, clouds roll in. That will cap the temperatures off, but Remember, we're already well below freezing at that point. 5.30 in the morning, you start to see some rain moving in with a little bit of mix associated with it, and that's the problem that we may have all the way through about 9, 10 o'clock before the temperatures surge back up, and we're already into the 40s. And the 50s are not out of the question tomorrow for most of us. So we continue to warm things up, and by afternoon... Look at this. Showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder moving through. This is the map at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and by the evening commute, that's why tomorrow night is going to be a slow drive home. Just plan for it right now. Then we kind of end the rain by about midnight tomorrow night. But that's just the first batch. There are two batches to deal with out of this system. So how much rain are we talking about out of the first batch? Half inch to an inch seems very likely. And then we start to talk about the second batch of rain moving in. That's going to be more a little bit later in the day. Now, we've indicated both Tuesday and Wednesday as high-impact weather days, mostly because of the heavy rain that's going to be out there in the afternoon and in the evening hours on Tuesday and Wednesday. But also keep in mind, we've got that threat of some morning ice as well. We head towards Thursday. The showers hang on for Thursday, but then they clear out just in time for holiday light. Should be about 48 degrees, a little breezy, partly cloudy skies for your Thursday. And there comes the sunshine back. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, a bit breezy, sunshine, and cool temperatures will lead us all the way through the weekend. But right now, it is looking relatively dry. That is my latest forecast for right now. I'm meteorologist Mike Wonkum.